guys, it's Miss Jessica. This video is going to be another art time with Miss Jessica, and this one is actually going to be for my pre-K and my kindergarten friends at the school. So you can see in the background, I'm working on the floor. Isn't that kind of crazy? I used to be working in a big art room, and now I'm sitting on the floor doing my work. Okay, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do an Easter egg project for all of you guys. So um, what you're going to do is you're just going to follow along and might need a grown-up to help you with some of the steps and that's okay just go ahead and follow along pause the video whenever you need to um, you're gonna need quite a few supplies you're gonna need some stuff and I'll make sure I put a list up here on the video right next and um, we're going to make some Easter eggs okay Alright guys, so we are going to go ahead and start with our Easter egg project. So, um, I already wrote on the video so you know what you need, but just as a reminder, you're going to need some crayons. You're going to need some markers. You're going to need a piece of white paper. It's got a piece of hair on it there. And you will need, if you have them, some empty paper towel or toilet paper holders. Now, I am going to show you how to do this both ways. One, if you have the paper towel holder or the toilet paper roll, or and I'll show you a way to do this without using one of these. So some people just throw these away and don't even think about it. So, what kind of shape See if I can get this in the camera. Does that look like? What do you think that is? Is that a circle? Okay, so is an egg a circle shape? Probably not really. Now you might be able to find an egg that's close to a circle. So if I just kind of squeeze, let's see if this is working here. If I kind of squeeze, there we go. If I kind of squeeze that shape, see how it turns into an egg shape? I'm just squeezing the top of it. The other side stays a circle, but when you squeeze it, so you can have a parent help you or a guardian or some grown-up help you, and you're just going to kind of pinch one side of it so that it stays in that egg shape. It's not going to be perfect, but it's going to work. So what we're doing is we're making homemade stamps. So you're going to pick a color. Let's see. I'm going to go with blue first. Okay, so you're going to get a marker. And you're gonna lay your paper down and you're gonna start real easy. You're just gonna hold on to that tube and you're going to color on the edges, just that top edge, like this. You're gonna color around it a couple of times. You set your marker down. You're gonna flip it upside down and then you're gonna push down on it, on all the things like that, nice and tight. So when you pop up, well, that kinda, there we go. It's going to turn into an egg. Now, if you have a couple of these, you can do lots of colors. But if you want to make another blue one, you're just going to hold on to it again. Color it one more time. What you're doing is putting some of that color on there. Before it dries, you just turn it over. Press down on it. And you have your egg shape again. Now you have this other side that doesn't have any color on it, so remember to put that cap back on your marker. You want those markers to last for a long time. So we're going to use our next color, so we're going to flip it over to the clean side. And you're going to color around it again. I'm going to go around a couple of times. And then you're going to flip it over. You're going to push it down and make your egg shape. Okay. Now I've got another one here, so I can do a few more colors. So I'm going to do red, but before I do that, remember i got to pinch that top part to turn it into that egg shape, and then I'm going to color it with my red marker this time. Go around it a couple of times, get lots of marker on there, I'm going to put it down, and then I'm going to press it down. I'm going to make my egg shape again. I'm going to use that marker. The more you use it, the flatter it kind of gets. And then it holds the ink of the marker a little bit better. Move it 
over here. I'm gonna push it down real good. Look at that. Look at all those fun eggs that I'm popping up all over the place. Now I'm going to take one more color. Let's see, I think I'm gonna do orange. So you can see it pretty well. Now I've gotta pinch that other side now so that it goes into that egg shape. And I'm gonna hold on to it. I'm gonna color my orange marker around there. Okay. Give that a couple of times. Push it down on my paper real good. You can notice you might get a little bit of marker on your hands too, but that's okay because it washes off. I'm gonna do it one more time so we have quite a few eggs on our page. Okay, where should I put it? How about right here? Push it down. Oh, look at that. Look, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eggs. So now that we have all of those eggs on there, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take those eggs and you're gonna decorate them the way that you want. So I'm gonna take this orange egg and I'm gonna do some stripes on it. Look at that. I'm gonna use my marker so that you can see it really well. And then you can use some crayons. I got all those pretty colors. So you can use it now and color my egg in real nice. Well, I'm gonna do two pink stripes and what color should I do next? Let's see. I think I'm gonna do, because my or, my egg was originally orange, I'm gonna do another one. And this time I'm gonna do orange on this part. So now I've got this really neat egg and you're gonna do that to all your eggs, okay? Now I'm gonna pause the video and Go finish it out and then I'll show you what our next step is. Hold on a second. Okay, so I put a new piece of paper on here. So for those of you that do not have a paper towel tube, you can get just any kind of marker or crayon that you want. And what you can do is you can just draw an egg shape. You don't have to have a paper towel tube and yeah well remember I'm an artist so it's easy for me to draw these things but you can do it too so you can just draw some shapes you can pick any of the colors that you want and you can draw some eggs and sometimes it's hard to draw it like that so you can draw it like a circle if you need to draw it like a circle or you can have something around the house that is a circle and you can trace it so if you have something that's like a circle and you want to trace it, you can just set it down on there. Like I have a cup right here and you can make a big egg or you can make a small egg. So if I wanted to make a big egg, I could just set it down on there and I could trace it if I wanted to. It really is up to you. I'm not going to tell you that it's wrong or right. You can just do it one way or the other. Um, and then when you have that, you can start to decorate those eggs. I like using my crayons and my markers because I think it looks really cool. And then you can decorate your eggs like that. So we'll kind of go back to the other one, which I have a finished version. See all those little eggs that we made with our paper towel tube. I went in and I used my marker and I just kind of made some lines and some decorations. Look at this guy, he's pretty silly. Do you think he's pretty silly? I think he's pretty silly. And then I've got a confetti egg and just all sorts of things and I colored them in. So when you're done coloring them in, you want your eggs. Where do, where do you usually have an egg hunt? You probably have it outside if you have it outside. One of the places that you can hide them are in the grass. So I went and I got some of my green crayons. See, I just got a bunch of different green ones and we're gonna do some grass around them. So all you do for grass is you just have some squiggly lines. Go up and down around all your eggs. Look at that. Just squiggle some lines and that makes your grass. See how I'm just going up and down with my grass line? Just like this. Isn't that pretty cool? So look at all those cool grass lines all over our grass. Our eggs sitting in the grass waiting to be found. Look at that. Isn't that pretty neat? And then you can use your other greens if you want. You can just go in and you can color it. Okay. And I'm not going to finish it right now on camera because that takes too long. But that is how you're going to do some Easter eggs. Alright, hi guys. Okay, so we have finished our Easter egg art and that was the tutorial about it. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I have my 
kitty here. He's my working partner. His name's Lucas. Say hi to Lucas. Hi, Lucas. Or, hi, kids. How are you? Um, he likes to get in my video all the time. So here is my finished Easter artwork. You can see I've got my sky and my grass and all my really fun eggs. And I colored it using crayons and markers. So I want to see if I can see some of your guys' really cool artwork. So you can um, have a grown up if you've seen some of my other videos. Then um, you'll probably know by now that I have a Facebook page. It's called Miss Jessica's Art Room. And you can, um, under the post that has this video, you can have somebody upload your Easter egg artwork and I can see it and see you can show me how great you've done. Um, for now, I will let you guys go make some more beautiful art and I will see my kitty walking around and there's Lucas. You can see my kitty walking around in the background. This is what it's like working from home. I don't have my art room anymore, so I'm working on the floor. So um, I will see you guys next time. All right, bye-bye.